I'm glad you could come today. I'm uh, just working on something that I've been wanting to develop for a while and um, well, it's sort of my own playground right now. Just in the beginning phases of experimenting with um, a new material that I've really come to love and obviously because I've been playing with it since I was a kid. <laughs> um, this is just normal sand, um, playground grade sand. So, uh, if you don't mind while you're here filming, I'll just keep working on this piece and I'll, I'll try to speak up because I'm not used to projecting, um, especially in front of a camera, so I hope you can hear me. This piece that I'm smoothing out yesterday, I uh, was playing with balance and what I could do with different widths of my toe. So this was all done with just one foot and standing in one position on balancing on the other foot. You'll see soon. I think I'm going to try it again, see how it goes the second time. I actually came to using this material because of an installation I did down in the basement gallery where I wanted to be able to make marks with my body. And I covered about, you know, I guess 100 square feet, 200 square feet with sand and and raked it to look like a Buddhist Zen garden. And something about the process of actually raking the sand and then dancing on it, all of, all of that was really meditational and, and soothing and I felt, I felt like I was very present with myself as the artist in that moment. So I've been wanting to work more with this material since, since I had this great experience. And unfortunately, I don't have a rake with me in my studio because I eventually see myself playing with that as well. two by four, but this is available. Uh, it's, it's a very intimate experience, actually, sharing my studio space with someone. I hoped that when you came to film me today, I would be able to be my authentic self. But I'm seeing that I'm already kind of performing for the camera. So I'll try and stop <laughs> and just work. process of mark making that the quality of movement and my experience like with my full body not just my toes or my feet or the things that are actually parts of my body that are actually coming in contact with the surface that I really feel it's a full body movement and 
There's something really I really like about the quality. And the very close attention that I feel with the surface, contacting it in this way. I feel a little bit like Shiraga. I believe that's his name. The foot painting artist from from Japan in the 19, I think it's the 60s and 50s. I think he was more of a performer. And I'm not sure how I see myself doing this yet, but it would be live or maybe documented since I do feel like the creative process is what gives it its significance. This feels a little bit like Tai Chi. Mindful movement is something I studied when I was dancing at UCLA and well, even in high school. Just this constant body awareness. It's really satisfying for me to be able to bring that into visual art. I could see this becoming something that's also like a frenzy and less controlled. Hmm. Let me just check that you're still recording me. Reminds me a little bit of termites making channels in wood or a labyrinth. Want to try a different pattern? What I like about this process that I'm experimenting with now is it totally reminds me of just a kid playing on the beach. And going for a walk on the beach and seeing all the patterns left by people's feet who walked before you, in front of you. And just that kind of mundane line and marks that I've seen so many times and somehow just take for granted. And when I bring the sand into my studio, suddenly it has this new context. and. I'm really excited to see if I were to put something under the sand and then reveal itself um, through dancing, to reveal a picture, an image, maybe a very colorful cloth. So I think we might have time for one more where I know you have to get going to your next appointment. But I'm really glad you could come today because I normally work in complete silence and very, very much a solitudinal process for me. I have a hard time normally working with someone here. 
that you put me at ease. And I like to think that if you weren't here right now, I'd be doing the exact same thing. In fact, I, I know I would. Because <laughs> I practiced last night. <laughs> Let's try it again and see kind of a different, maybe a different emotion. I really like this idea of revealing something that's hidden beneath the surface. I like this one. I feel like there's more rhythm in the lines that were created and I think eventually I, I see not paying attention to the mark making as much as maybe the movement and trying it that way, reversing it so that I'm seeing a reflection in the sand of the type of movement that I was feeling instead of creating a mark that I feel represents that emotion or movement, so there's less mitigation or less censoring in the transition from the movement in my body to the to the sand. No, it's fun. I I like it, <laughs> and it's been really nice having you in my studio. So thanks for coming.